There's nothing like going outside and getting some fresh air. Man, I don't know if this is a good idea. I'm kind of getting the spookadoops. What? There might be watch children. Yeah. What are watch children? To be honest, I have no idea. I just saw that sign. I imagine spooky little kids with watches for faces that sneak around and steal clocks. Andy, that's ridiculous. There's no such thing as watch children. Pardon me, sir, but do you have the time? Pure nightmare fuel. I agree, but while watch children are scary, they're nothing compared to the nightmare planet. Yeah. Are you sure? Because that thing is absolutely terrifying. Uh-oh. Somebody needs a timeout. Still think the nightmare planet's scarier? Okay, maybe not, but it is still pretty terrifying. Hmm. What do you say we visit this planet? Yeah. Why? Are you really curious and want to learn about it? What? No. I just want to get away from old Nightmare Face over there. You boys better watch out. You're running out of time. Three years later. So before we get there, I should probably know this planet's real name, right? Because there's no way it's really named the Nightmare Planet. Yeah. That's a great idea. While the name Nightmare Planet sounds cool, its real name is a little... scary. It can't be any more scary than that time Steve got that creepy phone call. Do you like scary movies? You know, not really. I'm more of a dramedy guy. What? Anything with Kate Hudson is just top notch, you know? Or the time he got lost in that haunted hotel. Hey, does anyone know where the breakfast buffet is? I want to make my own waffle. What? Well, that time Steve was followed home by that weirdo. Grandpapa? Waterloons! Or the time he got stuck in the sewer. Hey guys, I found 18 raccoons. What? Okay, okay. Maybe this planet's name isn't that scary, but it is pretty interesting. The Nightmare Planet's technical name is HD 189733D. Is that the planet's name or its social security number? What? This nightmare world is an exoplanet that can be found in the Volpecula constellation, about 63 light years away from Earth. Wow. That's equal to over 370 trillion miles. It was first discovered in October of 2005, when astronomers noticed it transiting across its star. That was spooky, y'all. And speaking of stars, the system that this exoplanet's in actually has two of them. Wow. So, a bunch of astronomers came together and named this bad boy HD 189733B. Yep. What, did they just throw letters at a dart board and see what stuck? Uh-oh. My dart landed on HD 189733B. We can't name it that. What did your dart land on, David? My dart landed on a picture of Devin Sawa. Yeah, yeah, never mind. We'll, we'll name it this. So, give me some background information on this guy. No. What's his favorite movie? Is he lactose intolerant? Why would you need to know any of that? I don't know. What if we, like, get stuck in a room together and I need something to talk to him about? Yeah. So, you'd go up to him and be like, Hey, Nightmare Planet, please don't kill me. By the way, are you lactose intolerant? Yes. That definitely won't work. Besides, I doubt this planet is even that mean. Here, let's test it out. Well, I've been in show business now 45 seconds, and this is the nicest reception I ever had. <laughs> wow, that is absolutely terrifying. Andy, that's not him. I think something's wrong with the communicator. Here, let me try again. Welcome one and all to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. What? Definitely not it. I don't know, man. I'm beginning to think that there's nothing scarier than the... Uh... Here's Johnny. <laughs> Who is Jonathan? Yeah. It's an expression, Sparky. Who is Sparky? Yeah. It's what I call aliens with little yellow shoes and glasses. Who is little alien with yellow shoes and glasses? What? Well, that's you, Sparky. Oh. Who is Sparky? 
Okay, that's it. Put the bat down, bucko. This won't last longer than a few seconds. Wait, I want to ask you about, uh... You! Me? What could you possibly want to know about me? Well, you have a reputation for being a little terrifying. Can you tell us why? Well, take your pick. Some think my size is a bit scary, and others like to know about my temperature or strong winds. Let's start with your size. Yeah. How big are you? Bigger than Earth? Yep. Bigger than Neptune? Oh, yeah. Bigger than Jupiter? Uh huh. Bigger than this half eaten Rice Krispie treat I found right here? Find his keepers. The biggest planet in your solar system is Jupiter. It's over 86,000 miles wide. That's 11 times wider than Earth. But even Jupiter is nothing compared to me. While Jupiter is over 86,000 miles wide, my width is over 101,000 miles. I'm about 1.13 times more massive than Jupiter and over 362 times more massive than Earth. Okay, so you're big. That doesn't necessarily mean you're scary. Yeah, he's got a point. I can think of a bunch of things that are small and scary. Tarantulas, scorpions. Mr. DeMeo's brain. Mr. DeMeo's brain. Hey. Well, even though my size might not be scary to you, my temperature can be a little spooky. I'm commonly called a hot Jupiter. <laughs> Basically, this means that I'm a gas giant like Jupiter or Saturn, but that I'm extremely close to my sun. Also, many hot Jupiters are so close to their star that their atmospheres are being stripped away. Take me, for example. Some experts believe that I'm losing up to 1.3 billion pounds of my atmosphere every second. I'm about 2.8 million miles from my sun. Wow. To put that into perspective, Mercury, the planet closest to your sun, is about 35 million miles away from it. Do you have any root beer? Since I'm so close, that means I get incredibly hot. I can reach temperatures of over 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. That's two times hotter than Venus. Still not cool. Also, since I'm so close to my star, I'm what's called tidally hot. This means I have a day side and a night side. And speaking of days, one year on me is equal to about 2.2 days. This is because I move so fast around my star. So if one year's 2.2 days and I'm 35 years old, that would make me seven weeks old. No. I'm really good. You'd be about 5,806 years old. What? I look pretty good for my age. Are you serious? You look like Jimmy Fallon, but if I drew you with my left hand. So, back to the spooky stuff. I've seen big planets before. I've even seen hot planets. Neither of them seemed scary to me. Yeah. I can see you're a man of character. The type of guy who doesn't shy away from a challenge. So, let me fill you in on what really scares people. Something absolutely terrifying, so brace yourself, Sparky. My wind. Really? Why, what? You think we're gonna be scared of wind? No. We just saw a grown man with a watch for a face, but you think we're gonna be scared of wind? What, you guys have that back on Earth? Do we ever? I can even break wind when I eat too much guacamole. Oh no! That sounds absolutely terrifying, Sparky, but my wind is a bit more intense than that. From the outside, I look like a peaceful little blue marble. But the closer you get to me, the more you can see that I am a living death machine. Experts believe that my blue color is in the atmosphere which likely comes from molten glass. The liquid glass rains down sideways due to intense winds that travel at speeds close to 5,400 miles per hour. That's almost four times faster than a Concorde jet. What? Seven times faster than the speed of sound. What is pants? And over 23 times faster than the strongest winds recorded on Earth. To paint a picture, 
Imagine millions of hot, sharp knives coming at you sideways at speeds faster than a bullet. Hot glass, raining sideways, strong winds. Oh man, this doesn't sound that bad at all. Okay, muchacho, if you're still not impressed, then tell me. What could possibly be more terrifying than me? Is now the right time to say hello? Hey guys, thanks for watching. As always, this video could not be made without the help from my patrons on Patreon. Especially Felix and Casper Watson Smith, Haley and Ethan Hebbard, Kai Kim, Leah and Gavin Clark, Amelia and Alan Mills, Connor Miller, Marlo Reynolds and Henry the Leprechaun King, Logan Turner, Connor Lecoque and family, Simon, Natalie and Liam McNulty, Cara and Michael, Mia Ladybug and Ian Ant, Wesley C, Arthur Watson, Matthew and James Mondiello, John Douglas Craft, Greg Matlock, Nadia and Hannah, Jordana and Aaron, Lizzie, Dean and Trevor, Megan Chu, Isley and Jude Siegel, Gavin Meidel, Asher S, Kate and Sarah, Mabel and Graham, Noah Chin, Israel and London Aaron, Harry, Riker Y, Evan Gray, Alex Fairburn, Aiton Judah, Nakia Swift, Aiden Swift, Santi Barajas, Leif Anderson Miller, Lennon McCartney Jones Page Avalon and Cash, Ada S, Carter Levi and Fletcher, Evan Lee, Oshi, Hannah, Maya, and Zoe, Ethan and Axel, The Rivard Boys, Rebecca Beanie, Vivi and Jojo Roche, Liam and Matthew Muzzo, Elizabeth P, Callum G, Rory Quinn, Aiden Fenway Riley, Asher Evans, Creative Devon and Zach T, Jack and Colt Skinner, Nora Close, Stanley and Amelia Kelly, The Gowker Family, Carrie, Billy, and Mora, Mrs. Essinger's fourth grade class, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Renko, Kosya, and Yaro, Arya and Kieran, James Berg, Pfeiffer the Third, Oliver from Ottawa, Dean Scandalakis, Tobin and Nina, Rebecca and Sarah F. from Pennsylvania, Evan and Lana Berry, Avery L., Toothless and Light Fury, Clark R., Elijah Robert, The Colorado Castellanos, Ronan X and Raiden Z, Cadence Espinoza, Ali and Cami, Ella Loves Chicken Parmesan, Rory, Jack and Easton Hess, Dora and Levi, Charles and Olivia, Amador Baggerly, Autumn McBottom and Beeg Sauce, Adeline Fitzgerald, Stephen McPhee, Jordan Montgomery, Luke Henry Q and Stacy Q, GC, Henry Pavelko, Harrison Eastwood, Elizabeth Claire Byron, Xander and Lucinda, Porter, Isaac, and Wesley Pierce, Wyatt Michelle, Gwen, Iggy, Elowen, and Addie, Caden Coslin, Grant and Ara Brown, Bennett E, aka Pooh Bear, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Mrs. Brown's first grade, Emma Kennedy, Buddy Deese, Timmy C, Grayson Kristoff, Mika, Jordan, and Maya, Marcus Roberty, Brenton and Cosette, Connor and Emma B, Isaac Scranton and David Beckham, Jameson and Nolan, The Peterson Pack, Maddox Capone, Lillian and Davis Sozen, Luke and Lily Hurlitz, Rowan Scheibels, and Zeno the Shark. Do you want to get your name in a video too? Well, visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can get your name in a video, see my videos early, and more. Check the description box for a link. Also, I've hidden a secret coupon code in this video. Try to find it. If you do, you can use it to get money off on cool stuff in my Teespring store like this, like this, or like this. Check the description box for a link. Wanna get a video message from Steve or Andy? Well, now you can through Cameo. Just click the link in the description box to get your own special message.